Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce and today's player highlight of the day goes to Eric Pascal. Eric Pascal scored 80 points in just three games and a lot of players, I mean, a lot of people and players didn't expect him to be a good player. So just like Golden State young core, let's talk about the Raptors young core. What are you guys thinking about the OG, Pasco, and Fred Van Fleet? We got ourselves, I think, a franchise corner trio to build with for the next, I think, five to ten years, depending on how well they really manage them. One thing they manage them well is signing Siakam to that long-term deal, which I refuse to begin with, but now <laughs> I'm slowly starting to see maybe the Raptors organizations have seen this all along that I really want to see first in a regular season game, which I've which I'm he totally has been convinced. producing, right? Totally convinced that he deserved that. So. I think my only issue is now with Pascal Siakam is his foul troubles. Is that he's going within he's these past He's been called games. out by Nick Nurse. Yes. Yeah. It, so, and we can see it too, right? So, mm -hmm. but practically from in, with every game, including with against the Milwaukee Bucks that they did on like last week on Saturday, he was putting himself in a lot of foul trouble. Mm -hmm. um, he only got probably I think 16 points, five rebounds, one assist, mm -hmm. but he was still. He could have done more mm -hmm. if, like, it wasn't so with what he was like with how he was playing like before, like on Saturday and everything too. Like he could have produced more, but it's just so much like defensively, he's just getting himself in trouble with I it. I agree. I so. agree. And, and I think he he fits the kind of player that OG and and Van Fleet are, which are players that really you want to surround Siakam with because OG does not need the ball in his hand a lot, but he's just the kind of guy that would make plays that you wouldn't, th you know, whether it's health defense coming up with a steal or he's been impressive with blocks. That's yeah. something that I didn't see in his game until now. And I think it's because his knee is starting to feel a little better, uh, better now and he's starting to get in more and more of shape. And with Van Fleet, I mean, just, I mean, the size that he has to be able to play the way he does, to be able to finish in the lane, you think he finished better than a lot of bigger guys, just the way he kind of controls his body and he can make shots from anywhere in the court. It's and the only it, time where like being small can be able to, you can be able to fit through these guys and everything too and just be able to put up that kind of shot. Mm -hmm. Even with Lowry too, mm -hmm. like these two are roughly like the same height and everything. We're playing small ball and everything, right? So mm -hmm. the utilization between these two, they can... It's been great, It's yeah. been great. I mean, if you look at last week's game with Lowry um, against the, Buc the Bucks again, he had a high of like 36 points, mm -hmm. um, you know, four rebounds, six assists, and you see that reverse layup that he did. Oh, that yeah. jelly. That, that was, was super jelly. super sweet. I, I know we lost that game, but I feel like I feel like we didn't. We, we were down by a lot. We were down by a lot, by but a we lot. managed yeah. to, you know, trail not that, not by much either. We mm -hmm. still lost, mm -hmm. but we lost by ten, which is like compared to before in the first half, it was like almost twenty plus. Mm -hmm. So. And that goes to show too with kind of how Milwaukee is this season. I mean, Giannis is on a mission, yeah. but at the same time, we put up a fight, and I think maybe the next few when it matters more in the postseason, I think we can really put up a fight against a team like Milwaukee, depending on how we defend Giannis. And, and, and it's Siakam's going to be the big factor in there in terms of whether he can take his game to another level. Offensively, he's done it, but I feel like defensively, he needs to be more of that defensive anchor that Marc Gasol is trying to be, or Marc Gasol was to Memphis, which he can't really do for us now. But I, I feel like Siakam would be that key if we can turn it up and play smart defensively. Yes. Because Nick Nurse has called him out on his fouls, silly fouls that he's been doing. And I do understand where he's coming from. He's too trying to play aggressively. He's trying to play aggressively. But it's just, it's, mm -hmm. it's the wrong way to play that kind of aggressive defense, right? Mm -hmm. So. And those are uh, something that you learn throughout once you keep playing more and yep. more and more throughout the season. So I'd rather see it now then see it later on when we're in the playoffs yeah. and then he can't, he has to sit up because he has two early fouls or he has to sit out in the third or fourth quarter because he has five fouls. Yeah, this is the kind of young core that has to play through the adversities in order mm -hmm. for them to, re to come and build up and develop around it mm -hmm. in order for them to improve as well. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of which, we saw a little bit of uh, like, you know, Terrence Davis playing a little bit coming off the bench. We saw a bit of like Matt Thomas coming off the bench. Uh, what do you guys think who, who will be like a better, you know, player coming off? Coming from, off the bench. Yeah. I like I like Matt. Like I like his shooting, just because he reminded me a little bit of someone that can just come off the bench and just spark for them and be a spark. So uh, who he do has those back corner threes. Yeah, like he, he has it uh, once he's Novak open. Novak was yeah. like that for us back in the day too, and, and Terrence Ross is like that for Orlando Magic. So I'd like kind of he's becoming kind of like what we wanted Terrence Ross to be, but more or, consistent. Or hopefully, if he can yeah. be that next Denny Green for us too, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we need that outside shooting just because yeah. of the fact that. I think Lowry's been playing a lot of minutes and I think Nick Nurse understands that he's leaning a lot towards him just because of the fact that if our, I think original plan was to have Fred Van Fleet as the backup point guard but now that 
because of his together. development. Because yeah. of his development, he's now become a starter role, a shooting guard, a backup combo guard for Lowry. And and I feel like now, with Lowry's age, we have to be careful in how we manage his minutes. And I know he's injury prone as well. So guys like Terrence Davis, guys like Matt Thomas is going to have to step up so that we can get that time off Van Fleet so then he can kind of switch off of Lowry and Lowry can get some rest. Jer yeah. uh, James, what do you now think with uh, Terrence Davis since you did put that set on him? Well, I think there, Terrence Davis is a good pickup from the Raptors, but that's kind of, I think OG Anandobi should have started that game, just that game, because you know how Fred Van Fleet started, and because OG is great in defense, and he great he did great against um, against Anthony De Kumpo. Pascal had a foul trouble that game, right? So what do you guys think? Should Nick Nurse make some change, like change or adjustments against like Milwaukee or someone who's like athletic enough to play against the Raptors? What do you guys think? Should Nick Nurse? Nick? I think with a game like Milwaukee, where they do need that uh, size. But at the same time, someone that can switch off of pick and rolls. I would want to see more of Ibaka, Siakam, OG, OG. Fred, yeah. and, and, and Lowry. Yeah, I and think Gasol is just, I don't know. He's too old. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, maybe he's, he's too, too old. old. I, yeah. I'm, I honestly think he's still hungover from, <laughs> from, from yeah, championships from FIBA from and, yeah. and, and NBA champ. So like, yeah. I just feel like he's not completely awake right now defensively mm -hmm. and offensively. I mean, he's still trying to put up... like. I still have trust issues when he puts up the outside shots and everything. Like, I can still see he can do it, but just defensively, his mid-range and everything has been terrible. He hasn't been even catching the rebounds properly either, too. So I just feel like um, don't start Gasol. And in terms of adjustments when it comes to bigger teams, as of such as Milwaukee, you got to have that kind of core, which is Ibaka, OG, yeah. and what you said, Siakam. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that lineup just because how switchable they are. And I think Ibaka is more mobile as a big man to kind yes. of get off of that. He has that defend. athletic built too, right? Whereas mm -hmm. like Gasol's a little bit more lanky when you see it. So mm -hmm. I'm excited. I'm excited for what much more to come for the Raptors because there's so much room for them to grow. And I'm just seeing it more and more. I know we're not expecting the same as we expected last year, but to see just the development of the big tree, I'm just, I like it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and that's all we have guys for all about Raptors. But to end off this segment, I'm going to bring it to James for some Hopes Mariasa video. So today, Hoops Mariosa goes to Eric Bledsoe. Bledsoe <laughs> thought he was in <laughs> the referee inbounding the ball for him, so he just straight up ran almost half court and got a violation out of it. So. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he goes. Oh. 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 <laughs>